Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Listen, this is a situation that I have been wanting to bring to your attention once again. And we're dealing with water shortages. Uh, and, uh, you know, I know that Deborah Tavares on StopTheCrime.net, she's talked a lot about this, a lot of this being perpetrated by the government, artificial water crisis, etc., things like that. And I'm not discounting any of that information that she's saying when I speak about this, but uh, I know that I have been, of course, I'm in meetings quite frequently, and uh, the subject of water shortage always comes up. Always. Always it comes up. And, uh, and so I flat out asked about this situation um, you know, because of the information of this being artificial, things like that. And there are a number of reasons why we are having water shortages. And one of the things that was brought to my attention, which I knew about this, is that uh, President Bush had bought a huge amount of land in South America that was very rich in the purest water on the planet. And he had said to the friend of mine that was his advisor at the time that um, one day water will be as valuable as gold. That's always stuck in his mind. And of course, even with these shortages coming up, I know that the Pentagon is stocking up on water, uh, constantly bringing in more and more supplies of water and stocking up that water. So whether it be artificial or not, they're preparing for something that's really that's going to be bad. In the meeting we had yesterday, one of the things that was brought up, and, and then this article was sent to me uh, by the friend of mine there, it's a 2016 article, about how that water was being sold to China, fresh drinking water being sold to China, being pumped out of the Great Lakes. This continues even until now. And not only is China bringing in huge freighters to get this water loaded onto their freighters, but even pulling bladders, massive water bladders in behind these freighters in order to carry fresh drinking water back to China. So somebody knows something, and whether it's artificial or not is not my major concern. My concern is I know that droughts are coming. This is something the government has been anticipating. Droughts are coming. Wells may dry up. Uh, so water sources, and of course, even with this type of a serious situation, the U.S., some people are getting some fat pockets off of selling off fresh water from the Great Lakes to China. I wanted to bring this out to your attention again because I want to make sure you guys are prepared for whatever you have need of to protect your family. Uh, get extra water, you know, stock it up in your home. If you happen to be fortunate enough to have a well, think about the idea of will they shut down the grid and then you can't pump it out of your well. Do you have a means to get that water out of the ground at that point, such as using a, um, uh, uh, you know, solar panels or something or a generator. But then if you use a generator, how long will your gas last? Uh, have bottled water on hand, have maybe even a, uh, buy maybe a dehumidifier to where you can draw the moisture out of the air. Um, there's a number of things that you can do that you want to think about. And I wanted to make sure you guys were aware of this because this is a real issue. And, uh, and like I said, whether it's going to be man-made, alien-made, devil-made, whatever the case may be, we need to be ready for it. So that's something I wanted to share with you guys tonight. Uh, also, um, I'll come back to the meteorite issue here in just a few moments here or there. Uh, we loaded a new video there on Patreon. Uh, I think you're going to find this very interesting. Podesta is working with the reptilians on behalf of special interests here in the United States. So something you might want to check out there, patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. Check it out. It's about a 20-minute long video, close to 20 minutes there. 
And uh, I go into some details from a meeting that I was in yesterday that I think you'll find interesting. And speaking of Patreon, uh, we hadn't loaded any videos in a couple of weeks there, but the month of July is definitely going to have quite a few broadcasts on Patreon. Uh, I am going on a trip. I can't disclose that information about this trip, but it will be a trip that yields a lot of information that will end up being shared right here. Uh, information I can't necessarily share everywhere, but I will definitely be sharing some of that information here. So I trust it will be a blessing for you. Now, doubling back the asteroids there. This is something I wanted to share with you guys as well. Um, remember I told you that on uh, June the 20th, we had an asteroid passing the planet, would not hit the planet, nothing like that, would have a debris field. That debris field uh, would mostly land in the oceans. There was a probability that we could have a possible pole shift. That was the only fear that they had was the pole shift. Uh, they talked about even using antimatter weapon just to practice on some of the debris. As uh, far as I know, they did not do that. They did elect to not to do that. Uh, but however, we got reports in our media that 40 satellites were taken out by a solar storm, right? Well, that, friends, ended up being completely false. Uh, those 40 satellites were as a result of the meteorite debris that was following this asteroid. Now, the good news is, is that because of the different uh, space weather anomalies, the asteroid did go further off course, uh, not coming as close to the Earth as what they had anticipated. That was a good thing. Look at the bottom of your screen right there. There it is right there. They're coming in again. Um, but it did take out 40 satellites, and that's a lot of satellites being taken down. And no, it wasn't caused by a solar storm, as they tried to tell you in the media, uh, it was actually as a result of these meteorites passing by. Uh, we did have some, though, like I said, they did hit the oceans there. And uh, don't forget what I told you before about some kind of strange plague that's going to be blamed on a meteorite hitting the oceans. Uh, that's something you might want to keep in mind there. But yeah, a bunch of those things got taken out there. And uh, don't know how much trouble that caused on Earth. But that is the case there. Uh, hopefully tonight, I've got this teaching I've been laying out here, I've been wanting to put together for you guys, and but I keep digging into more information uh, to go along with it. So I'm not quite fully ready to uh, release that one yet, but I trust that this and, of course, the message over there on Patreon will be a blessing to you all. God bless you. Thank you for listening. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.